Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenian broadcast for today. The indigenous parliament of Armenia, of Western Armenia, Baku targeted metal mines of Armenia, Derenik Malhasyan, Husseinik, the history of the Armenian village before the genocide. The Washington Post criticized the UN decision on COP29 to be held in Baku. His Holiness the Patriarch expressed about Armenians in Lebanon. Baku is erasing the past of Stepanagert. The findings of the Azov, Harmine Hayrapetyan. Mr. President Armenia Gabrahamian had a speech in UN and represented the indigenous parliament of Armenians of Western Armenia. I am here to represent parliament of Armenians of Western Armenia. The indigenous peoples and nations are the roots of humanity. They represent spirituality based on respect for nature, mother earth, respect for ancestors, for cultural expressions, for traditions, for heritage, for genetic resources and existence. This respect, pragmatic and emotional intelligence informs our evidence to protect our daily life and strength. Our greed, destruction, genocide, crimes against humanity, disproportionate and uh, exploitation of human beings on earth, these are not part of the culture of indigenous people. Indigenous peoples and nations are struggling for peace and prosperity for the benefit of all. The United Nations needs indigenous peoples, just as indigenous peoples need the United Nations to preserve and realize this ontological ideal. The Armenians of Western Armenia is an indigenous nation that was destroyed as a result of the Turkish genocide. Since 1920, they have had a recognized state, Western Armenia, which was recognized by the Supreme Council of the Allied and Associated States, the United States, Brazil, Argentina and other countries, which are also founding members of the League of Nations. Unfortunately, the international borders of our country are still occupied. Similarly, nothing is more important than that indigenous peoples, nations, their parliaments and governments can share their culture, language, traditions and knowledge, enriching the common heritage of humanity. Mr. President, Armena Gabrahamian. The Facebook post by a political commentator, Derenik Malhasyan, Azerbaijan has targeted Armenia's metal mines. They intend to paralyze them. Chairman of the Public Council in Azerbaijan, Amin Mamedov, together with the non-governmental organizations, demand to make monitoring in metal mines of Armenia with the help of experts from both Azerbaijan and other countries. And earlier, they demanded to close the gold mine of Amulsar. Organizations called environmentalists in Azerbaijan are struggling for the interest of their country. That is the destruction of Armenia. And have you ever heard that Armenian environmental organizations ever target Azerbaijan for environmental problems and demand to stop oil production or close metal mines? Conversely, the so-called Armenian environmentalists have been following Armenia's metal mines for years. In many cases, reports prepared by Armenian environmentalists are used against Armenia's mining industry in Azerbaijan. Husseinik Armenian village was in the Harbert Vilayet of Western Armenia, located near the city of Harbert and was considered a district of the city. It was known for its large Armenian population and was the second largest settlement in Harbert province. The underground passage between the village and the Harbert fortress was of particular importance, which played an important role for security. Husseinik's story took a tragic turn in 1895, when the village and churches were destroyed and looted, and many Armenians were converted to Islam in force. A greater disaster was in 1915, during the genocide. The Armenian population of Husseinik was displaced, and 4,200 people perished in the Third Zor Desert. The survivors migrated and settled in different countries. Actors of the local theater dressed in military uniforms and armed with rifles played in the role of Zoravar Andranik and continued the cultural traditions of the village even in difficult conditions. The prestigious American newspaper The Washington Post criticized COP29 to be held in Baku. They noted that the UN ignored the violence of the Aliyev regime. The paper highlights that the UN selects host countries based on infrastructure and climate commitments, but ignores issues of democracy and human rights. This is the third time when the event takes place in a dictatorial country. The article mentions that 60 American lawmakers have called to release the political prisoners in Azerbaijani prisoners, including Armenians. His Holiness the Patriarch emphasized the importance of the unity of the Armenians in Lebanon. He noted that the Armenians of Lebanon who survived the genocide understand the need to help their fellow citizens. He appreciated the unity of the Armenians of Lebanon and encouraged them to continue the joint sessions and solve the problems of the community. 
I could demolish the historical district in the center of Stepanakar. The houses in the district were built in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Most of the houses were built of local white limestone and were one or two story. Due to the revitalization of economic life at the end of the 19th century, the settlement was significantly constructed and developed according to the regular principles of urban planning in Shushi. The houses of historical district of Stepanakar city have a resemblance to the historical houses of Shushi. Basically, Armenian residents built the houses. The Azerbaijani side is destroying the historical core of Stepanakar to erase the Armenian trace from the past. It should be noted that at the end of 2023, the president of Baku Ilham Aliyev, in one of his speeches, made a special reference to the past of Stepanakar and distorted it. About the transformation of Stepanakert, falsification of historical facts, you can see in the following. Regarding Azerbaijan's basically statements about Stepanakert, Azerbaijan has embarked on the Stepanakert freedom fighters to the avenue transformation works about the Azerbaijan reconstruction of Stepanakert. Baku presents Tigranagert historical and cultural reserve as a cultural layer started from the time of Pana. At the National Assembly during discussion on destruction of Armenian cultural heritage in Artsakh, Armenia Haida Petyan, a monument expert, emphasized as follows. The medieval church basilica is presented as the bathhouse of Panahan. The historical and cultural reserve of Toh had a large archaeological layer, which is endangered today. The archaeological museum of Tigranagar was moved to Armenia. There were about 90 archaeological finds in the archaeological museum of Toh, which were left there. According to Armenia Haidapetian, a museum was planned to be established in the natural history reserve of Azoh. The findings of Azoh were at the expedition's disposal. We had finds there which should be displaced in museum planned to be opened in Azoh in the future. Those finds also were left in Azoh village. We know that they were moved to Baku. Azoh is not just an Armenian cultural layer, it's an universal layer, she said. According to her, lawsuits should be submitted to international courts regarding the historical and cultural heritage of Artsakh. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good weekend. Goodbye.